I founded Nashville Juniors August 2013. Um, moved down here August 1st with all my belongings in the car with my dog and nowhere to live. And he figured he wanted to start a juniors program. Um, and so he was sort of the uh, man behind everything you see now. Um, the new boats we have, it's all been through him. Um, yeah, and the whole juniors program basically wouldn't exist without him. So that was the beginning. Um, we've grown every season since. Uh, three years now, this is my third year. Um, for national rowing, this will be my second year. Um, I started rowing my sophomore year um, in the winter season, um, and I've been rowing year-round since. Uh, culminating this winter, this past winter being the most kids we've ever had, and uh, been able to grow our equipment and improve our facilities every year. Another aspect, I think, coming from the coaching staff is we've been able to build a staff nationally, you know, bring people in who didn't live in Nashville to give the kids, no matter what boat they're in, the best coaching they can get. Where we need to be on those drills and then we need to squeeze it all the way in together. Um, but we have coaches that come from Maine, from Chattanooga, from Maryland, uh, you know, Coxing and Syracuse or coaching at the collegiate level. Having 16 kids the first fall to almost 100 kids now including middle schoolers. So the growth has definitely been, uh, has been precipitous and quick and uh, um, pushes me, makes me a better coach. Coach Eric has been, you know, one of the main um, catalysts for change on this team. Our, our phrase, our motto is personal potential tap through athletic growth. And that was the phrase I came up with. I wanted this program to be more, about, more than just about rowing. Um, Athletics is a great incubator for learning harsh life lessons with, in a safety net. Um, and that was how it helped me. You know, you can learn how to fail in sports. You can learn how to be a good communicator, self-starting, a good teammate, a great friend, um, motivated, all those things you can learn in sports without kind of the real harshness of the real world. And that's the idea. You can tap your personal potential you can become a better human being in an athletic environment through athletic growth. The work for rowing, it's definitely a lot and it's really intense, but it's super rewarding and it definitely pays off for everything you put into it. It's very time intensive, very, there's a lot of work. It's not always very pleasant um, because it's like when you hit your goals, knowing that how much time you put in, it's just a good feeling. and. Like to see yourself succeed in growing in life as a whole, knowing that you put in the time, you put in the effort, even when you thought you couldn't. And I think, um, you know, something with rowing, especially with a coach like Coach Eric, um, there's a lot of um, sort of personal values that can be gained from it. Um, you know, aside from the physical well-being of, uh, you know, a year-round sport that as competitive as rowing is, um, I think you also learn a lot of um, lifelong skills. Um, how to work as a cohesive unit, how to be diligent and listen to directions, how to push myself beyond what I think I can do, how to set goals for myself that I don't believe are, I'm capable of, but that I later achieve, which I have done. Um, for me, I guess like one of the biggest rewards is like just like to see like how much you put it like because there's so much work behind it and like so much like not behind the scenes stuff but like for your final race like it kind of shows how much you've been working for that like one race. In two and a half years we've gotten to the level we can compete at the Head of Charles which is the largest two-day regatta in the world. Um, we have medaled a bunch at our Southeast Regionals each year so far. And we go down to, I think, believe Florida this year for the Southeast Regionals. Um, and that's everybody in the Southeast sort of area uh, in a club team competes. And we won it last year uh, and, and moved on with our girls varsity boat to take 10th at Nationals. Races are like really intense and it's, kind of, it's a really cool environment though because like you get to work as a team and kind of like show what you've been working for like throughout the entire year since it's kind of a full year sport.
I love rowing because it's a combination of a technical sport and a sport that requires athleticism. The team is just really supportive. Everyone's, it's just a really welcoming community and everyone's super supportive of each other and um, really encouraging too. The rowing was the first true team sport. It requires you to really rely on other people to work towards your goals as one. And I like that part of it. What I also love about Nashville Rowing is the opportunities that it's given me, the doors that have opened for me ever since I started rowing are tremendous and I'm so grateful. So I'm gonna carry with me all the lessons that I've learned and the hard work and teamwork uh, that I've experienced. You know, uh, rowing scares people away because they hear of how much time you put into it. Um, and I hate that that's what's communicated to people in the beginning. It should be communicated that you fall in love with it. And we fall in love with something or someone or some activity. Committing time to it is easy. It's like breathing. So um, I think our team is just getting really good at breathing. I think we owe a lot of our success to how the kids have bought into their own programs. The kids were willing to do the work and put in the time and commit to each other. They enjoy each other and they enjoy wearing the word Nashville on their backs.